What's going on you guys? This is Max KD. I have another Lenovo or Think Center mini towel. I'm going to be uh, two down. Show you how to do that. So first I'm going to do is remove the side cover panel. And I'm just going to use a drill instead. You're going to slide it to the left. I'll remove the four screws for the hard drive. You disconnect the SATA power cable and it slides to the left. And you're gonna move the front cover base, there's little clips on it, so you take your finger like this gently and lift them up. And you're gonna remove the two screws here for the optical drive. I'm gonna go in the back and then move the four screws from the power supply. And you're going to disconnect the four, four pin for the CPU power. It's got a secure clip so you have to press on it before you remove it. Same with the 24 pin, it's got a secure clip right in the middle. So you have to press on it here in the middle, you see that clip, you press on it. You're going to disconnect the optical drive. And you put the power, pull the power supply to the right, it slides out like this. Disconnect the SATA cable. This is where the PCI bracket's at. You see there's a little clip where it holds up, you have to remove. It's called by one screw. Remove the video card. There's a little clip on it. You press it down with your finger. And the video card just you're able to remove. Like this, and that's what you have to press on it down like this before you remove it. So I'm going to go to the other side and remove the other cables. Let's get the audio USB. The optical drive. And this is the front panel header for the power switch and power LED.
So now I'm going to go ahead and remove the CPU cooler heatsink. It's got four screws in the top, four in the bottom. So I have to take a paper towel and wipe down the old thermal compound before you remove it. Remove the memory. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to show you guys remove the CMOS battery and just take a screwdriver like this. Comes out. Trying to switch the other side. So from I'm gonna start off from the bottom, removing the screws from the motherboard. I use the motherboard, micro ATX. You see the last part, I'll see if I can remove the iron shoe back plate. And the axle does come out. Just in the front, make sure we have nothing left. Yeah, that'll be all. So, you guys, this will be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.